guys and welcome back what foods to bring on a plane when there's no vegan option or you just don't feel like paying extra for it today i'm sharing with you a few simple ideas for what to bring but feel free to leave your tips in the comments before we begin real quick thank you to squarespace for sponsoring this video remember that new project you wanted to start i'm sure it needs a website with a catchy fun domain. Go to squarespace.com slash minarome and get 10% off your first purchase. For plain food, we simply want to bring snacks that don't go bad immediately and are not mostly made out of liquids. I heard some terrifying stories about overnight oats and the TCA. For this first recipe, we're making teriyaki mushroom summer rolls. First, cut up a variety of mushrooms into strips, sort of. Saute them in a bit of oil for six to eight minutes on medium high. Make sure to only add the mushrooms once the pan is hot. Add in soy sauce and some kind of sweetener, so raw sugar or maple syrup, etc. Let everything cook for about three more minutes and then set those aside. In the meantime, cook up the rice noodles according to the packaging. I know this is like the 50th time I'm using these in a recipe, but they're just so easy to make. I mean, you could substitute those for actual rice, um, but then there's a lot more cooking involved. Prepare the veggies. I'm dicing up a carrot using a vegetable peeler. You can do the same thing with cucumber or zucchini if you don't mind eating zucchini raw. Now onto the rice paper wrappers. I first tried preparing them the way it was described on the packaging. That did not work out for me very well. So what I did is I held them under cold, softly running water for about five seconds and then place them onto a plate and just let them sit there for a minute. Sorry, I have no visuals for these, but I just hope this made sense. I filled mine with parsley, some of the rice noodles, the mushrooms, peanuts, and carrots, but of course, really build them the way that you want. Same with burritos or wraps, less is more, and same as with pancakes. The first one will look terrible, probably. Of course, these taste best with dips, so bringing a tiny container of hummus could be an option, but I get if that's a little too much. Um, I don't know why, but the idea of having hummus in your liquids is the funniest thing to me. Idea number two is for cheesy vegan energy bites. To a food processor, add raw cashews that have been soaking in water overnight, raw almonds, add oats, garlic powder, dried Italian herbs, some kind of miso paste, smoked paprika powder, nutritional yeast, salt, lemon juice, and also agave or maple syrup. Pulse for a few seconds until you reach this consistency. You'll probably have to scrape down the sides a few times, as always. Adjust any flavors if needed. These taste great on their own, but I like them best in salads or bowls. This is a pretty big batch. Keep the rest in the freezer for when you get back from your trip. For the lunchbox, I'm using this one. My mom got so many of them one time from Amazon, a couple years ago actually. There used to be ones, but we just wash them and then reuse them. For this meal, I took with me kiwis that I cut in half and then leftover pasta that my dad made. It was just with marinara sauce, onions, and white beans. Of course, any pasta dish works here. I have so many on this channel. They'll all be linked down below in the description. I added a few of those cheese balls and nutritional yeast and brought with me a fork that cannot be used as a weapon. 
For a sweet and filling meal, I'd go with couscous oatmeal. This one is coconut flavored. Mix together oats, a pinch of salt, couscous, coconut, vanilla powder, and raw sugar. Take some fruit with you for the topping. I know this is not the most glamorous of meals, but it does the job. Ask for hot water on the plane, pour over the oats, and let it sit for about 10 minutes or until the couscous is soft. I'm sure you could also ask for sugar if it's not sweet enough, or ask for one of these little jam containers they bring out for breakfast and mix some jam in there as well. Basic go-to plain snacks would include granola or fruit bars. I love these ones even though they're made for two-year-olds. My favorite dark chocolate covered rice cakes. Make sure the fruit is easy to eat, something like clementines, apples, berries, etc. But before you bring anything, definitely check online with your airline and the country that you're flying to to see if there's anything not allowed. I traveled from Europe to Australia recently and Australia is super strict with bringing food into the country. For some reason my brain thought it was a good idea to put an avocado in my suitcase, which is, I imagine, the worst thing to bring to Australia. Have you ever had problems with vegan food on a plane? Last year, when I went to America, the airline literally forgot my food. And so I had to live off five packets of tiny pretzels for 12 hours. But on the contrary, an airline that I'm a big fan of now is Qatar Airways, not sponsored by them in any way. Learn from them, other airlines. One last thing, did you guys know that I have a website? It's where my recipes are posted and stored in categories, so if you're looking for anything specific, you should be able to find it there more easily. Squarespace is one easy to use platform that makes it actually really easy for anyone to create a website. Whether it's for a new blog, an online store, a wedding announcement page, or an online portfolio, their templates make your new page look super professional, like you've been building websites all your life. They have wonderful 24-hour customer service that I had to use myself, and it was indeed very helpful. If you want to try it yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Mina Rome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Trying to be rude, but hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. The way you do the things you do reminds me of my Lexus Cool. That's why I'm all up in your grill. Trying to get you to a hotel. You must be a fool.